took the little go car so she didn't have to carry it because I ain't got a car. So I was going out and he came to the other side that way real fast in the Jeep. Mm -hmm. And I was pulling out coming this way. And I thought he was going to stop, but he wasn't stopping. So he stopped right in front of me and that and then backed up and then did it again. And then he said, what, what, what are you guys doing around here? No, he here? said, F and leave, F and leave. What are you doing here? Yeah, hang on. I need to hear something. And I told him, I said, what's your problem? You know? He goes, I'm going to fucking shoot you guys. He said, you know? So he, I said, go ahead and shoot us. You know? Nobody's bothering you. Nobody bothers that man. You know? The parking lot, they got two parking lots. He's got two parking lots. He parks his Jeep over here. Where you go and get one business. So he told the man to give me some money. Sometimes he just flips. Like last time I was sitting on the, by the garbage can, talking on the phone, 
He comes running out of his apartment. What the fuck you doing? The fuck you looking in my apartment? The door's closed. I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? I'm gonna shoot your ass. That, that's just the first time. Now this is the second time. You know? This time he actually showed you the gun. Yeah. He showed me the gun this time. Yeah, what did the gun look like? It, it looked like a 38 snub nose chrome. Okay. With a black uh, handle. All right. He had it in the car, so that's where he took it out of. Bumper. And he was yeah. holding it in his hand and he said, I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. And you, were you in fear that he was going to carry out that threat? Yeah. Okay. That's why I stood up, you know. I understand. I'm I understand. from New York, you know. We, you, we you had, you had no, what you're saying is you had nowhere to go. Yeah, so you were, you were standing your ground in case in you case know. he came forward with this threat. So that way you could try and defend yourself. Maybe it was because we okay. were in the house. She was, she was standing there when I was talking to him. Okay. There's nobody else. You know? Do you want to press charges against him? No, I want him to get out of there. Well, you have to press charges against him. Well, I press charges against him. Because he says he's going to shoot like through the walls yeah. and all that, you know. This ain't the first time right. he's threatened them. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I had to call that guy to come and get our son, because I didn't even, my car's in, in, in the back, and I don't even want to go in okay. my car, because it's behind the cheap. Okay. That's why he's mad at him. Okay. And what was he wearing for that? I was in, I was just, you know, watching him, you know, I was, he had some jeans on. What, what was the jeans and see what else he was wearing? I wasn't saying, I was just no, watching sure. him. I, it was, yeah. Yeah. I think he had like a jean coat on. He had like a coat, a blue coat. Okay. Well, okay. If, if you guys want to go back inside, you need to go contact him and come back in. Okay. 
And it was in like a white grocery bag? Yeah, it was in like a plastic shopping bag. Yeah, plastic shopping bag. Little, white plastic bag. Okay. Yeah, two of them, you pull one over, then pull the other one, and then go like that. Okay. okay. Um, actually, you know, if you want, maybe just get a statement for him and get him started on the written yeah. statement, and then we'll, uh... Well, I can't, I can't write in English. I can't write. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll make it happen. We'll make it work for you. Can you read in English? No. No? Okay. Okay. So here's what we can do also, if you trust your girlfriend writing it out for you, she can write it out no, for you. No, she's not here, she's with her son. Oh, does she take off? No, she's been, she's, she's, she, when her son's there, she's got a son, so I just come over here. Oh, okay, it wasn't, the, it wasn't the young lady that was just here with you? No, no, she she can help me out too. Okay, who's, yeah, who's that's, this? Uh, that's her daughter-in-law, from her son's at that work. Okay. And this lady here, she she knows that he's done beat the shit out of his refrigerator. Okay. Well, it, so, it sounds like he's definitely had issues. No. But need no, to be nobody, b nobody bothers him, you know. Yeah, right. And so you're just sitting there and he comes up and he just no, starts messing last, with you? Last week he just came out, of, okay. last week he came out and started yelling, what the hell, you know. She's looking in my house, the door's closed. Okay. You know? okay. This lady lives back there. She knows that he last time he beat the shit out of the refrigerator, and the people, the guy that just left, her, his daughter was there when I was sitting on the on the, by the garbage can, and he okay. came out threatening. Her. So he doesn't uh, read or write in English, but the gal that was out here earlier, he trusts her to stay with him. Okay. I think that's acceptable as long as yeah, we'll read she was she was there. Yeah, perfect. You know, she was there. Cause I was I was taking off on the scooter on the red scooter to go help him with the groceries. So we'll probably have her write a statement too. And if you're um, the call day, but, but then we'll we'll make sure that she reads it out loud to you in front of us, and that you know that you understand it, and then that'll be good enough for us. That's yeah. so just fine. I'd rather someone you know write the statement for you anyway, right? I mean, not that you don't trust us, but.
much as I float, dude, it's, I may or may not. I mean, it's I hard. Don't, I don't ever recall it. Recall it yeah. Well, like they're saying now, if mom's blind and doesn't do much, she may not want to cause problems or yeah. trouble. I mean, yeah, I guess any of that. Yeah, that's a good point.
kind of firearm is it? Uh, gonna, are you going to put my weapon? My firearm? I don't know that yet. There's still conducting our investigation. Okay. Uh, say again. What kind of firearm is it? Say 38. Uh, or 38. Okay, can you describe the color? Uh, it's a stainless steel uh, Ruger SP-101. Uh, that's right. 
what I was able to... Say that again now? Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay. Okay, for harassment. 
Okay, because you pulled the I did not rat. He came towards here's, me. Here, here's, here's the over okay? Is he called us? You didn't call us. He called us. You didn't call us saying you're afraid of this guy. Then you had to pull a gun out because you're in such fear of this guy, right? He called us saying you pulled a gun on him. He's afraid you're going to shoot him. See, that, that's where we're at. I'm not, I'm not saying you're guilty of this crime, okay? I'm saying we have reason to believe that this occurred. Okay, I'm not saying I'm just a collector of facts, just like my partner is. Okay, I'm not saying that it did or didn't occur. Okay, I got one side of it, I got your side of it. That's up to the judge and the jury to decide whether you you're guilty of any crimes. Do you, do you understand where I'm coming from? Oh yeah, I understand what's going on. Right, right. I'm I'm not saying you're guilty of this this crime. All I'm saying is we called here. This is what he said. Okay, this is what two people said. Okay, this yeah, is what one person said. Right, right. The witness, but she could say anything she you, wants. And you're absolutely right. I have no way of knowing. Right? So I'm stuck in the middle. Me and my partner are stuck in the middle, just trying to sort yeah. things out. But you're cooperating, right? You're saying, hey, you know what? I did the right thing by all means. I'm going to sign a consent search. You can go grab that gun. No problem at all. Right? You're doing the right thing. Right? Unfortunately, right now, it's just against you a little bit. Mm-hmm. So you're the one that's to go to jail today. What I encourage you in the future, if you have disagreements with people, call 911. Get us out here so we can figure out what's going on and try to help you sooner. Because right now, if you're truly the victim... You should be going to jail, but right now, because of the way it all came out, yeah. you're going to jail, and now you're the, you're the suspect. Yeah, it's, it's and you may not be. Against mine. Right, and you, you may have been the victim all along, but we don't I know am. that. I have been since last week. Well, see, but we don't know that because you didn't call. See, you need to call us, Brian, so we can help you. Well, see, that's that is what I think that uh, we have the right to bear arms to protect ourselves. Yeah, I wouldn't dispute that with you. Why do we always have to get a police officer involved? Well, if we don't use the weapons, uh, but just use it as a turret. Well, it's, 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 a, it's a crime. It's a crime to display a weapon in a threatening manner. I'm in my, I'm in my home. You're right here. Outside your. Home. Well, it's in proximity to my home. Yeah, but you need to be. You, you weren't though. You weren't my inside your home. My vehicle right parked right. right. I understand. I, understand. I don't understand the that law in that respect. Okay. I understand. Do you, do you smoke? Uh, okay. Would you like a cigarette? Um. Got one? I can get you. Do you have any? I can get well, one for actually, you. Actually, I have roll-ups. Uh, okay, I'm not going to roll them up. I have screwed roll up on you. I'm sorry. I apologize. So, um, let me ask you this. I'm
revoke at any time that consent, and I also may limit the scope of the consent to certain areas of my premises and or automobile. Hereby authorize Officer Ashbaugh and Officer Hardin, us two police officers of the City of Renton, King County, State of Washington, to conduct a complete search of my premises located at Anadol um, Automobile, described as, and then your address, 3100. You okay. You can, you can limit the scope you of the can search. Limit the scope okay, because I, I, I have more than one firearm. Does that matter? You just firearm in question, right? Uh, due to the crime, I, I would definitely tell you I'd like to retrieve all for safekeeping, okay? Um, and, and I think that keeps everyone safe. But well, I'm specifically, not. I want to retrieve uh, that revolver. Am I um, specifically playing uh, myself like I'm mad and no? Well, no. You don't. You're not. You're not you're you're there'll be any reason to retrieve uh, other kay. my other firearms. You can you can limit the scope of our search. That's what it said right there. Yep. Okay. So if you choose so to do that, you can do that. I'm the not one say you question can't. I believe is the one that you should retrieve. Okay. 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 That's the one I'm going All right. On. Okay. 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 Yep. Okay. I'm gonna keep reading this and then we'll talk about the limitations when I'm done. Okay. Um, um, we will describe or, and your house is 3100 South East, or Northeast 16th Street, number 2, Renton, Washington, and the vehicle 303 Union Fixer Adam. I authorize these officers to take to my residence and their automobile any letters, papers, materials, or other property which they believe to have any evidentiary value. I voluntarily give this written permission if such promises have been made to me, and I know that any property taken, photographed, or seen by police may be used as evidence in court. So, what, did you want to limit the scope of our search? Yes. Okay. Um, pertaining to this case alone, the one he said that he's going to get it one way or the other, that's the one that I would permit to uh, be removed from my premises. Is that the yeah. one that you described to Officer Brunner earlier? Yes. Okay. The one that you said was under the couch? Mm -hmm. okay. Actually, the one sitting on the right side, so it's in the back of the, between the cushion and the frame. Okay, and the sofa? That's exactly what's happening. Okay. You're limiting the search to... That part on my own. What? Can you describe an area for me so I can write down? Uh, I just... I probably just did. Is that the sofa next to the front door yes. there? Right, the right of the front door. Mm -hmm. So we can search that sofa. Mm -hmm. For that pistol, is that right? For that weapon, uh, firearm. Okay.
simple. What I what I tell you is again. Yeah. What I tell you again is, if you feel like someone's bothering you, I'd encourage you to call nine one one. To be honest, though, wow, that incident, I thought about calling. I wish you would have. To be honest with you. Now I wish you, you would have. Yeah. Why don't you come over to us and we'll you direct us right to it, and that's where we'll go. May I get my key? Yes. You can walk it up right where you're standing. We can't lock the inside right now, but you can watch what we're doing. Yes, I can do that. Which side is it? Let's let's bring it apart. Okay. And which side is it over here? Or is it over here? This one. Okay. So to the left of the couch. Yes. Okay. Oh, actually, right. To the right of the couch over here? Well, no. We no, on the left side. Yeah, okay, yep. No, on the Queen of go. Okay. Is the button you use to pop it out? Yep. You gotta force the cylinder with your hand. Oh, that's from the side. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Uh, revolvers are much more. Sure, sure, you bet. If you have a misfire on an automatic, what happens then, huh? Right, right. Brian, where's it at? Oh, 
done from? Uh, oh. Oh, sorry. That's okay, bud. Dang. Oh. This is just a skinny as the toys do that. Grant Avenue, Seattle, 103, Westcliff Apartments. RPDC custodial interference report made 